Well, hello there. Welcome back to my channel. It is, of course, Chelsea of She Designs Things. And in today's video, I'm going to be answering a question that I get every once in a while, but one that came up in this Reddit that I'm in of Google Sites. So the question is, my Google site looks awful on mobile. How do I fix this? I did ask the original poster if they could share a link or an image. Um, I didn't say an image, but I did ask them if they could share a link so that I could see what the issue is. But even without having a link to the project, I'm actually able to pretty much already figure out what's going on here. Keep in mind, I make Google Sites um, pretty much all the time. <laughs> uh, it's one of the many, many website builders that I use and you know, yeah. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and see what their issue is. They say it looks great on a laptop or desktop, but as soon as I view on my phone, it's disoriented. So there are a few things happening here and I'm going to address them as quickly as I can while also still getting to the point and explaining it. Okay. So first, in order to understand why it looks jacked up, let's go ahead and look at my latest Google site template, the designer. And here it is. The designer is using the same wireframe as the naturalist Google site, just so we know. So this is what it looks like. Very simple, very clean, looks great, right? Looks excellent on a desktop view and let's view a mobile view. We'll do like a regular mobile, large mobile, small mobile, there we go. So this is what it'll look like if you're going to be viewing it on a mobile device. So I take it the original posters uh, website doesn't look like this. <laughs> at all as a matter of fact i'm pretty sure that it kind of moves things about and it looks funny and words aren't exactly where they need to be and elements are moved up and down and right and to the left and to un really understand why this happens you need to understand page layout and kind of wireframing in the first place and so first things first if you're watching along with me Head on over to Google and Google a website landing page wireframe. A wireframe is literally the pages layout. You can do homepage, whatever the case may be. You just want to find like a typical wireframe, something that's going to be easy for you to understand, something that uses science like US, US, UX, UI. Um, something that's backed and proven to be what most people do. Think about it when you go to a grocery store before they decide to flip it like they do at Publix. Um, there's a, a layout to the store and there's a science behind why it's laid out the way it is, why the bread is next to the peanut butter and jelly, <laughs> why the chips is next to the juice in soda aisle. Think about that. Like you are gonna eat some salty chips what's gonna happen? You're gonna be thirsty. <laughs> so everything has a psychology behind it. Just understand that including websites have a psychology behind it. Now I know someone's thinking like, yeah, but how does that fix this person's problem when it comes to their website not being responsive? Well, it's pretty simple. Google Sites uses a grid layout and the grid is pretty much set. There is nothing you can do within the grid that is going to be uh, different than say, doing it in your own HTML or building your own website and adding your own CSS to it. So how we get around Google's uh, standard layout is by utilizing wireframes. So I'm going to help you build a wireframe to go off of in order for you to create a robust Google site. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So let's just find, mm, let me see here. All right, this is pretty typical to what I like to do. Um, you have your get in touch, uh, 
you have everything you have your hero section let's see something a little more ah this is more in line with what i like to have so how to build a landing page let's see this one is on unbounce there we go all right so i will leave a link down below if i find this article to be beneficial and i will yeah of course leave a link down below so here we can see that they're going over what goes inside of a landing page wireframe and why it matters i highly recommend researching wireframing if you've never done it even if it's just your website uh, because it's important for you to understand the purpose of a website if, even if you're a small business owner i'm a small business owner with two small businesses <laughs> of course i'm gonna understand why i have a website why it's laid out the way it is even if i don't give a crap about it it's super important for you to know that way you don't end up getting a design or a designer who's incompetent and i have seen that i have spent most if not all of my career fixing crappy websites like that's literally what i do i don't get people who need a new website well except for one uh, but i get people who have crappy websites and they need me to fix it so um <clears throat> in short this is what we have going on here what i can stop scrolling i'm so sorry for those who are watching you're like why does it keep moving it's a habit um you have your you have a header you have your hero section generally speaking you can have another section in here which would be um a, another form of social proof such as a testimonial maybe like five star seller on etsy or something like that which is what i have on mine and then of course the benefits you want to you want to lay it out so that people it reads like a script it reads like a story it tells a story so um, one of the ways that I actually come up with websites is by using Pinterest. Pinterest is a great place to find designs and I actually take designs from Pinterest and see if I can actually create, create it or recreate it in a Google site. So that's something that people actually don't realize that I do is I take an existing website and see if I can actually recreate it inside of Google. But that's a whole nother video. So here's the website, the designer, and let's look at the back of the website. The designer, you have these two groupings here. I'm gonna show you what happens if I were to switch them. Move this over here and put the hello friend on this side. On a regular desktop, it's going to appear just like this, but on a mobile device, it's going to move the image underneath it. Why do you think that happened? It was very easy to understand, very easy to explain. This is one grouping. This is by itself. And the way the page is compressing the information down, it's, I wish I had a pen. I do have a pen. Okay, here, I have a pen. The way it's compressing the information down is, let's do like this. All right, inside here, to inside here and what it's doing it's stacking them downward but this section comes before this one yeah i got scribble scribble so sorry i was just really excited about being able to draw my screen <laughs> but i hope that makes sense anything to the left is going to be on top of anything to the right when you're talking about one section because this is one section up here okay. now remember how I said everything to the left side gets stacked on top of things on the right let's just go ahead and take a look see what it looks like a mobile device scrolling down towards the bottom and now I want to see the Luna so her image as you can see I put here and then I put, I'm Luna, a product designer, and then of course my lorem ipsum. And then as I said, because this is one section, if I were to move this over here, then of course this would be underneath it when you're looking at it on a mobile device. And that just looks weird. 
Now, you can get around it, and I'm going to show you the workaround to this. If you put groupings together, um, this is what it'll look like. One large grouping. The problem is in Google, you can't do something like this. It just makes the other section bigger. So to fix that, you can do something like this. Whereas I put I'm Luna product designer, and then I put the paragraph by itself, but I'll show you what that looks like. You might like it better. There you go. I'm Luna, product designer, photo of Luna, paragraph about Luna. Whoop. Boom. And you're done. So remember, everything to the left goes before things to the right. So if you're going to say, for example, I had a huge problem with sections like this. Tit, tat, tit, tat, tit. You can't actually do that in Google Sites. I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you try to. All right, so here is the naturalist. This is the back of the website. All of my website templates come with a README page, as I've said plenty of times before. But I wanna look at the services page and show you what happens on the services page if you were to try to do this, 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 this on a Google site and why it just didn't work out for me. So let's see paragraph and then an image switch keep switch looks beautiful on a mobile device look beautiful on a mobile device look beautiful on a desktop on a mobile device eh, something happens you get the services option but the images go on top of each other except for at the bottom. Why do you think that is? Well, exactly what I said. Everything on this side gets pushed in. So essentially, this might be on top of this, but that also means that this is on top of this. And that also means that this is on top of this. And that is why you're gonna have a problem with your Google site if you try to lay it out this way. So in short, I hope that that made sense. I hope that this video has been helpful. Remember that everything to the left gets stacked to everything on the right. All right, and I hope that answered your question. And of course, if you have any other questions, if you need any other tips or tricks on how to make your Google site more responsive, more robust, just more web and user friendly, please of course let me know. I love creating and helping people. And of course, there's a link down below to buy me a coffee if you support my channel. I've never thought I would have to say that, but it would be really helpful so that I don't have to get a regular day job. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching guys. And of course, see ya.